So I have a message from the Bible for you tonight about what to do right now. And the message is very simple. Are you ready? Very simple. Forget the past and press on. Ready? Forget the past and press on. That's it. We have to forget what's behind us. Yesterday's gone. And we have to press forward. And that simple message comes from one of my favorite guys in the Bible. If you've listened to me for long, you know that one of my favorite guys in the Bible is the Apostle Paul. I love me some Paul. I'm a Paul fanboy. If he had a poster, I'd have his poster on my wall. Uh, Paul was just an amazing missionary, an amazing evangelist. Paul was a Jew's Jew. He was trained to be a rabbi. Paul knew the law backward and forward, and he lived a Jewish life all the way down the line. And then Paul had a personal experience with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ appeared to him and changed his life. And Paul became a Christian. And then Paul started out sharing the gospel with, gasp, non-Jews, you and me, dirty Gentiles. He shared the gospel with Gentiles, people that weren't Jews. And that's one of the reasons why I like Paul so much. If I could take Paul out to eat here in the valley, I'd take him out for uh, let's see, maybe some tacos al pastor, maybe some ribs, some pork ribs. And Paul, being Jewish, he would eat them with me because he was an apostle to the Gentiles. And Paul told us that we could know Jesus and be saved and not have to be Jews, that Jesus came to save the world. And Paul went and he preached this message and he traveled on trip. And here was his method. Are you ready? Here's his method. He would go into a city. He'd preach the gospel. He'd get the snot beat out of him. He'd get up, dust himself off, go into another city, get beat up, and then limp into the next city and then you know, wash and repeat the process all over again. Paul suffered immense suffering for the gospel. He had incredible impact in the world. And he's one of my favorite figures in the New Testament. Well, on a second journey, Paul visited a city called Philippi. And Philippi was a city made up of retired Roman soldiers, sort of like some of the winter Texans that are down here, right, that maybe hang out at the VA. Well, these were all retired Roman soldiers, non-Jews, and Paul ministered to them. A bunch of them got saved, and they became lifelong friends of Paul. And they heard Paul needed money when he was in prison in Rome, and they took up a collection, and they sent it with a guy named Epaphroditus. He risked his life, and he brought that money to where they needed, to Paul. And Paul sent this letter to thank them for their offering, the, the letter of Philippians, and also to encourage them under trial, right? So then we get to chapter 3 of Philippians. And Paul's talking about all his sufferings and all the things that he's gone through. And then if you go down the chapter, Paul says these interesting words. He says, I want to know Jesus Christ and the power of his resurrection and sharing in his sufferings, becoming like him and achieving the resurrection of the dead. He said, all those things I, I, I gained as a Jewish expert, all those things I consider garbage, that I may know Christ and be found in him. And then he says, but one thing I do, what does he say? Forgetting what is behind and pushing, straining toward what's ahead, I press on. Forgetting what is behind and straining every muscle toward what's ahead, I press on. I'm going to uh, find my phone and read that to you. This is Philippians 3, and Paul is, Paul is saying, uh, not that I've already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of what Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do Forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize to which Christ had called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. One thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on. So there's two parts there, right? The first part is I have to forget what's behind. I forget what's behind. I forget what's in the rearview mirror. Now, some things in 2020 are going to be hard to forget. Not finding toilet paper at Walmart, that's a memory that we all want to forget, right? 
being the last loser and looking as that toilet paper goes off in somebody else's cart, that's a tough memory, right? Tough. Having to binge watch a million things on Netflix because you can't go to the movies, that's a tough memory. That's hard, right? But there are other tougher memories to forget. What about somebody that really hurt you? Somebody that hurt you really bad. Somebody that betrayed you. What about a failure? What about something you did where you failed terribly? What about forgetting that? You got to forget. You have to forget what's behind to be able to press on toward what's ahead. I talked to a guy a few years ago that couldn't find a girlfriend. Are you ready? You guys that don't have girlfriends, listen very carefully. One of the things he told me is that every once in a while, he'd take out a shoebox of his old girlfriends that dumped him, and he'd have a good cry going through his shoebox. Pictures and letters, like that old country song, Digging Up Bones, right? He'd fish through the shoebox and just remember all the heartbreak and all the pain go through his mind. Is he ready to press on? No. Another man said, I keep a notebook of all the people that have hurt me. And I write down what they've done to me. You can't live with bitterness in your heart for the past. You can't. It's like drinking rat poison and expecting the rat to die. It'll eat you up inside. When Nelson Mandela walked out of prison after being there for decades, he said, I had to forgive because if I didn't forgive, I would still be locked up in that prison in my mind. You got to let go of the past. Tell the person next to you, yesterday is gone. Yesterday's gone. It's over. You can't change it. You can't change anything in your rearview mirror. It's gone. So Paul says, forgetting what is behind. He said, all those trophies I got as a Jewish uh, expert and all those ways I live for the law and all those things I consider it all garbage that I may be found in him, in Jesus. Sophia says amen, right? That I may be found in Jesus, not having a righteousness of my own. And I want to know him in the power of his resurrection. That's the goal. But if I'm going to get to that goal, I've got to forget what's behind. I've got to forget bitternesses. I have to forget hurts. I have to forget people that have done me dirty. I have to move on. And then he says... I press on toward the goal. I press on. It's not enough to forget what's behind. You also have to press on toward the goal. And what's the goal? Knowing Jesus. Being found in Jesus. Fulfilling your destiny in Jesus. The prize is Jesus. That's the goal. I press on toward the prize of Jesus, of knowing Jesus. We've got to press on in 2021. We have to. You've got to go forward. You can't get stuck in the mud. You've got to press on. You remember how you learned how to ride a bike? How many times you fell down? But what's the one lesson you learned when you learned how to ride a bike? You can't stop. If you stop, what happens? You fall down. You've got to keep going. You've got to keep riding. You've got to keep riding. That's how it works. And so we press on. We go forward. If you're not going forward to know Jesus, to know him, staying close to him, getting closer to Jesus, knowing him and the power of his resurrection, you're, you're, you're going to stall out. You have to press on. How do we press on? Well, Carl talked to us last week about getting in the Bible, reading the Bible every day. Get on a version plan. Every day, read a little bit of the Bible. That's how you stay close to God. How do we stay close to God? We pray. You talk to him just like he's right with you. Every day you talk to him. How do, you, how do you stay close to God? You worship him. You get some worship music and you sing to him in your car. You sing to him at home. You stay close to him. That's how you press on. How do you press on? Well, you obey what he says to do in the Bible. You obey his commands. The Bible says that's how we know if people love Jesus. They keep my commandments. You follow him. You follow him. You press on. You get to know him. And the more you know him, the more you could care less about yesterday, about what's behind. You're pressing on. And that's how Paul was able to endure all those beatings and all those whoopings and that shipwreck and all the stuff he went through and the people that hurt him and betrayed him and used him because he was focused on Jesus. 
He was forgetting the past and he was pressing on. So I don't know what's ahead of us in 2021. I really don't. So far it's a little, little rocky. <laughs> a little rocky. Uh, it's, it's not been the dream we thought it was going to be, right? And we don't know what's ahead of us. But one thing I do know, forgetting what's behind and straining toward what's ahead, I press on for the prize. And what's that prize? Knowing Jesus and the power of his resurrection, being found in Jesus. Let's get the prize. Let's know him. Maybe you've had a hard time forgetting. Maybe that's you tonight. Maybe you can't forget some hurt, some failure, some disappointment. It's time to let it go. It's the first week of 2021, time to let it go. Jesus wants you to let go of it right now. Let it go. And then press on. Come with me and press on to know the Lord. Press on to be found in him. Press on to know him and the power of his resurrection. Press on to achieve your destiny that God created you to do. Press on. Let's stand up. And I'm going to give you a chance to leave all those things behind in your heart. I want you to picture it. If there's something that's happened to you in the past that you have not been able to let go of, picture that person that hurt you. Picture that failure that you think that you did, that awful thing that you did, and Jesus has forgiven you, but you can't let it go. I want you to picture it in your mind. And we're going to let it go. We're going to forget it so that we can press on. Picture that thing. And now just give it to Jesus. Say, Jesus, I give you my failures. I give you my disappointments. I give you the bitterness I have for people in the past. I just give it all to you. Give it to him. Forget what's behind. And then let's press on. Lord Jesus, I pray for everybody who's listening to me right now. Everybody who wants to know you and the power of your resurrection. Everyone who wants to fulfill their destiny, Lord, and be found in you and reach the prize. Lord, help us to forget. Help us to leave things in the past, our disappointments, our failures, and help us to press on, Lord, to be found in you, to press on for the prize, to keep going forward. We pray this in the strong name of